The journalists include correspondents for CNN, The Washington Post, The New York Times and other high-profile outlets who have covered Twitter's ever-changing policies during Musk's short tenure. On Thursday, Musk responded to criticism that the suspensions flied in the face of free speech, which he vowed to vigorously defend when he acquired the service several weeks ago. Musk said accounts that engage in doxing, or the publication of personal information, would receive a temporary suspension that would last for seven days. At least one journalist, CNN's Donny O'Sullivan, said his account was permanently in read-only mode. Now, Twitter has taken the extraordinary step of banning links to Mastodon accounts completely, even when those links have no direct connection to any problematic activity or users under Twitter's. It was not clear why Twitter decided to ban links to Mastodon entirely, rather than limiting links to problematic accounts that post content in violation of its rules. Officials at Twitter have been difficult to reach, in large part because most of the website's communications team has been laid off. Also unknown is whether the blocked links were the result of a deliberate action by someone at Twitter, or part of a larger set of bugs and glitches that have plagued the social network since Musk took control of it in October. On Wednesday, the desk reported that an issue involving Twitter's use of text messages for two-factor authentication resulted in some people being locked out of their Twitter accounts for weeks, a problem that Twitter acknowledged in mid-November but has yet to fully fix. Other issues include Twitter users experiencing a sudden drop in followers, an increase in reply and direct message spam, and a bug that briefly prevented some users who opted in to see mature content from viewing adult photos and videos. A current Twitter employee who spoke with the desk on background said around 60% of the company's staff has been laid off or quit over the last several weeks, and the bugs are a byproduct of losing a significant amount of talent and institutional knowledge in a short amount of time.